This country, under this APC regime, came to become the poverty capital of the world. It became the place where the minimum wage became the miserable wage for workers. But if you think about Nigeria itself, uh, it's an open prison. We just want to address your questions regarding the whole question of coalition. You know, you've been hearing that Obi is a is now long, it's no longer uh, a presidential aspirant and she has left and she wants to go and create a coalition of parties that will produce one candidate. Thank you, madam Obi. I met you at Trinity Line and I said it publicly, I love you, ma'am. <clears throat> You're a special breed of person. Even though we disagree all the time, you know, I have some disagreements with you, but that's not for today. But I love the way you, you know, just genuinely and tactically build out to what would be an embarrassment. What happened was that her political party, <laughs> those parties, man, Nacho and Quench, they had already endorsed <laughs> Buhari. <laughs> But now found out and she quickly before this you know uh, they spilled the mud on her and she's like I'm not doing this because she couldn't agree with the party to endorse Buhari uh, and she left. And she's now saying, Well, you know, I want to help create a coalition which was what she did with Pact, right? And next after her Fela Drotoye came out with a press release, Fela is like, Yes, I'm ready to work with Kinsley and Shore, you know. Uh, as long as it's a transparent process, you know. So we're left with like, oh my God, everybody's asking, are you willing to enter into another coalition? Would you be willing to work with Fela? Would you work? With yes, right. We're willing to work with anybody and everybody, you know, with without condition, you know. Well, I'll say without condition, but with some caveats. Yes. No conditions. We are willing to work with anybody. Nigeria, they use computer. The leaders of Nigeria, they use radio where they turn the knob.